Imagine a world of dreams, a world where there are no limits, where quitting and giving up are not options, a world where age is just a number. I was fortunate. I grew up in a home where there were no limits. Age was just a number, not a barrier. And girls could do anything boys could do. I grew up chasing my grandpa down the ski slopes at speeds most adults weren't even going. And I grew up running distances that only Kenyan kids were running. Dreaming in my family was encouraged. At age nine, I learned a really tough lesson about age, though. Some things do not let age stop them. Never did this become more apparent to me than the day cancer stole my dad. Cancer didn't care that my dad was 40 years old. Neither did cancer care that this left a nine-year-old girl without a dad. Cancer also didn't care when it stole my nine-year-old neighbor, Trinity. She was an aspiring artist and drew up until the day she died. She showed this picture to me that she had drew in her final weeks. Cancer was not going to stop Trinity from reaching and going after her goal of being an artist. If cancer shows no barriers to age, why are so many of us putting up age barriers? They say it couldn't be done. They say she would fail over and over again and again and again. They say she was too old and age was against her. I believed in her, though. I heard the passion in her voice when she told me, Winter, don't ever let them tell you that it can't be done. And she did just that. Diane and I had swam from Cuba to Florida, 110 miles, and not on her first attempt, not on her second attempt, not on her third, or not even her fourth attempt, but on her fifth attempt at the age of 63. You're never too old. Tell Sister Madonna Booter that you're too old to swim 2.4 miles, to bike 112 miles, and run 26.2 miles, you know what she'll tell you? She'll tell you, you're wrong. And she'll go out there and do those distances on the toughest course in the world, through the waves of the Pacific Ocean, through the lava fields of the Mother Island, and she'll do it again and again into her 80s. What would you have done differently? And what dreams would you have chased if you didn't have that little seed of doubt planted in your head? They say marathons are for adults. They say they're too damaging for kids, and they're going to get hurt and not grow up normally. You know what, though? That's not the truth. There is an age limit that has been set based on rules and policies and regulations. There, these age barriers have no medical basis, and they have no medical facts. Alana Hadley is just 16 years old, and she had a dream. She set goals, planned, and worked hard to achieve that dream. Just three weeks ago, she became the youngest American since the first Olympic trials in 1998 to qualify in the marathon. She will now be vying for a spot in the 2016 Summer Olympics. Her coach, she calls him dad. He never doubted her. He always supported her and did never put up this age barrier. He never said, you shouldn't be doing this, you can't be doing this. He believed in her, and ironically, this run coach, his dad was affected by prostate cancer. This same run coach believed in a 14-year-old girl who wanted to run not one, but seven marathons on seven continents. He believed in her, unlike the hundreds of race directors who denied her entry into their marathons. The seven race directors believed in her, and now she holds three world records, but not for herself, but for the one in six men and families affected by prostate cancer. That 14-year-old girl is standing in front of you. I had a dream when I was just nine years old. I set goals and I worked hard to achieve that dream. Now, five years in the making it took, but I now have accomplished that dream and became the youngest person to run a marathon on all seven continents. It wasn't easy, though. My mom surrounded me with people who believed in me and taught me to never give in to the critics, to the naysayers. In my travels, I teach and inspire the youth of the world to dream and to dream big. Whether you're from a desert in Kenya or on a small island in New Zealand or from a small town in Michigan like myself. All the critics tell me to wait until I'm older to run these marathons. They tell me, you know, wait until you're in your 20s or 30s and then you'll be way more capable of running these marathons. The truth is, 
is that my dad waited, and he died with unfulfilled dreams. Don't put off until tomorrow what you are capable of doing today. Some of the most brilliant ideas in technology are coming from the youth. 15-year-old Jack here just recently developed a test to detect early pancreatic cancer. And guess what? It only costs three cents. It takes five minutes, and all you need is a sixth of a drop of blood or urine. And let's talk about the social media world. Mark Zuckerberg, he founded Facebook when he was just 21 years old. And Facebook is now worth $19 billion. And how about David Karp? He founded Tumblr when he was just 27 years old. He sold it to Yahoo for $1.1 billion. Now let's talk about the gaming world. Who here has heard of Minecraft? I'm sure a lot of you have either played it yourself or you have kids who've played it or grandkids. Minecraft has 13 million players. This panel was at a recent Minecon convention in Orlando, Florida. It had 7,500 people attend the convention and thousands viewing the live streaming. This panel here had representatives from some of the top Minecraft server networks in the Minecraft community. And if you take a look at their ages, starting on the left is 17 years old, then a 16-year-old, two in their 20s, another 17-year-old, and two more in their 20s. How do I know this? Because the one second on the left is my brother Yukon. And Yukon is just 16 years old and manages 200,000 online players in Minecraft. The youth, they know no boundaries. All they view is things as possible and do not fear the impossible. These kids, they never stepped outside the box. They were born outside the box. What are your dreams? Do they scare you? Dream big and it will scare you. Scared to be different. Scared of the unknown. Scared to be laughed at. Scared others will make fun of you. Regret, however, is much harder to live with. Wishing and hoping you would have chased your dream. There are three things I want you to go home with today. It's dream and dream big. Never let age and gender be barriers. And never give in. My dad never gave in. Thank you.